Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. Today, the Medium Western Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 37 Agility, 42 Cooking, 35 Fire Making, 46 Fishing, 5 Fletching, 31 Hunter, 40 Mining, 30 Ranged, 35 Woodcutting, and level 70 Combat. For the item requirements, you need a Teasing Stick, Logs, a Knife, any Axe, a Big Fishing Net, a Tinderbox, Ogre Bellows, Comp Ogre Bow and Brutal Arrows, a Rope, a Gnome Bowl Mold, Gyan Dough, I'm guessing, 4 Chocolate Bars, 1 Equa Leaves, 2 Pots of Cream, Chocolate Dust, a Crystal Saw Seed, and any Pickaxe. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Big Chumpy Bird Hunting, Eagle's Peak, and the Ice of Gluffrey. You also need partial completion of Monkey Madness 1 and one small favor. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So, once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. For the second time in a row, we are going to begin here at the Pest Control Island. And as long as you, I guess, uh, have the teleport on cooldown, you can come here. Otherwise, you can grab a Pest Control Teleport. Go ahead and complete a medium, or I guess, what would be the name of this one? A medium game, and that is going to be pretty much it, with 70 combat. Next, we are going to travel uh, from Eagle's Peak to Feldip Hills. So, go ahead and make your way to the Eagle's Peak for, uh, from uh, when you did the quest, and, well, just like we have done before, go to the Eagle Enclosure, and once you are there, use a rope on a Jungle Eagle. I believe we have done this before, I don't remember specifically because I think I remember this place? I don't know, maybe my memory is really really bad, but once you are there, go ahead and teleport all the way back, we are going to head to the Gnome Stronghold once again, and we are going to use a Gnome Glider to go to Feldeb Hills once again. Ah, as you can see, two methods of transportation in this area, not too bad. Next, we are going to claim a Chumpy Bird hat from Rance after 125 kills. As you can see, this is the number of um, kills that you need, unlike the previous uh, set of tasks in which I think you only need, you know, I still don't know, I record these back to back, so I haven't checked how many you need. But after 125 kills, ask for a, a, a Chumpy hat, wear it, and that's going to be pretty much it. Next, we are going to trap a Spined Larupia. Go to the, I guess, southwest part of the jungle. And as you can see here, with a couple of logs, a knife, and a teasing stick, that is all you need in order to do so. Um, I just showed that I couldn't actually catch or get the resources from the Larupia because my inventory was quite full. Ah, that was kind of um, kind of cringe, but yeah, you need to you need to get it. Next, we are going to turn our crystal saw into a, uh, I mean, our crystal seed into a crystal saw. Once you have the seed, go ahead and use it in this singing bowl, I believe it's called, and it will give you the option to transform it into a crystal saw. As you can see in my inventory, I already have it. Now, I don't know what uh, what else I'm showing here, but I am going to teleport to my house once again. And this time around, we are going to teleport or uh, go to the Gnome Stronghold via a Spirit Tree. You can pick anyone, but as long as you have one in your house, I believe that's going to be it. I have done this before in these videos, but I guess showing it one more time wouldn't hurt. Next, we are going to take a shortcut from the Grand Tree to Otto's Grotto, and as you can see, uh, you need to do it from the tree to Otto's Grotto. I just did it, uh, you know, I just did it the other way around so we could get back to the stronghold itself. Because next task is actually very close by, and we need to go to the basement, I think, of the tree. As you can see, um, I had a little difficulty finding the gold ore, but it's all the way to the northeastern part of this basement type thing. And just go ahead and mine one gold ore. That was pretty quick, unlike the other mining tasks that we have done. <laughs> next, we are going to make a chocolate bomb at the Grand Tree, and oh boy, let me tell you, these following two tasks are... Ah, painful as hell. First, this one is not too bad because it's not timed, right? You only need all the ingredients, go ahead and follow the things I'm doing, just go ahead and use the inventory, the things on each other. But, this one is terrible. You are going to complete one gnome, um, gnome delivery, this is like a minigame. You need to complete the tutorial in which they explain, ah, you need to do this, you need to do that. Ah, but let me tell you, 
This is very stressful because you only have between maybe four and at most, what is it, like six or seven minutes to complete one dish. And some of the things, I was really unlucky here. And one of the, uh, what do you call it? One of the ingredients I needed was called a king worm. And I was freaking out because it's like, oh, where the fuck am I going to get this? And... Actually, it's here in one of the, you know, in these uh, little swampy area, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, what do I do? So I am, like, scrambling through my inventory, like, oh, what the hell do I do? But, thankfully, with some uh, help from the wiki, as you can see, um, I actually got to the delivery, no problem. Uh, you create your dish, and once you have the full dish completed, uh, you go to the, uh, to the gnome that they tell you to go to, and just go ahead and talk to the gnome, and that is going to be pretty much it. Ah, what a mouthful. As you can see, I talked to this dude and it's like, oh, thank you. Thank you for my lunch. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't get any reward, bitch. Ah, come on. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, I am like, oof, nice. So I do a little twist uh, to celebrate that yeah, that was actually done and I did it first try. <laughs> For this last one, we are going to fish some bass at Ape Atoll. No, actually, this is not the last one. Uh, we have two more. Uh, we are going to fish some bass at Ape Atoll. And for this next one, we are going to still be at Ape Atoll, which is also um, in the, you know, in this little southern area. So I had really, really bad RNG here. As you can see, I'm like, mm, where's my bass? Where's my bass? Nope, 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 nothing. Well... Ah, quite unlucky actually, <laughs> but I finally get it. And once you catch one, go ahead and walk all the way east, cut one teak tree, and then light it in order to, you know, in order for you to be done with this set of tasks. Ah, in my personal opinion, the western is one of the most painful ones because it involves way more areas than the previous ones, but once you have this, that is the end of the Medium Diary. Once done, go to the NPC named Elder Gnome Child just outside of the Grand Tree. You will obtain the Western Banner too. You will also obtain a lamp worth 7500 experience, and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it. If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.